Now let me address questions that have been raised over the use of our reserves and suggestions that it should be used to fund our needs instead of GST. The reserves are our nest egg, born of hard work and discipline. During the earlier years of economic catch-up, Singapore experienced fast growth and had a young working population. Our founding fathers made the decision to save the country's surpluses and invest it for the long term to build up Singapore's nest egg. They could have just spent it to gain immediate political advantage. But they were principled and had a long-term interest of our people and our nation at heart. In FY 2019, our net investment return contribution was $17 billion, or 3.3% of GDP, the largest single contributor to the budget. This is highly unusual and a very fortunate position. Most advanced countries, shown in the lower half of this chart, pay about 2% of their GDP in debt servicing of accumulated debt. They collect taxes to pay off the debts of previous generations. So you can, as you can see from that graph, the red line is the US and the green line on top is France and with UK, Germany and uh, in between at about 2%. Yeah. Yeah. France and Germany, sorry. France and Germany. Yeah. Now, in Singapore, as shown in the top half of the chart, it is the opposite. Our reserves generate substantial returns which help to keep our taxes low. In other words, in most advanced countries, citizens today pay for the spending of past generations. In Singapore, it is the reverse. Citizens today enjoy the benefits of the savings from the past, thanks to the foresight and policies of our founding generation of leaders and people. Now, you can work out the sums simply. Today, NIRC at $17 billion is more than personal income tax at $12 billion, GST collections at $11 billion. If we did not have the NIRC, even doubling personal income tax or doubling the GST rate to 14% would still not be enough. Tell me, in which other country are citizens able to reap the benefits of past savings in this way? So let us never forget that what we have inherited is very unusual and very precious. Let us be responsible and steward this properly for our future generations.